Looks like Jaden and Willow's parents just don't understand, literally, as Will Smith's kids feel bad for him. Oh, this is awful. Hey up everyone, it's me, Steph the Alternerd, your nerdy alternative, and I am joined by our erstwhile leader, Andy. How are you doing this morning, this afternoon, wherever you are in the world? I'm doing good. I'm just, I, I, I am feeling for Will Smith, and I'm, I'm curious where you guys stand on this, as this story is, is winding down finally. The book dropped today. We'll be reporting a little bit more on this book potentially, but for those of you who wish we'd stop, it will stop soon. This is one of those, you know, ebbs and flows of a story. But this is one story, part of it that Steph found, and I, I believe this. It's coming in from page six. It's from sources. But I'm curious what you guys think because, yeah, Will Smith's kids feel bad for him amid this bombshell marriage uh, claims by Jada. And there's something else we're going to get to in the story that I think reaffirms this. That it seems like Jada's doing some damage control. But, Steph, let's scroll down and go through the sort of this report here because, yeah, it's been kind of crazy. They know he has been going through a lot lately. And this isn't helping, a source tells Entertainment Tonight. Now, again, Entertainment Tonight's a little bit better than most of these tabloids. Granted, they can, you know, have bad sources, don't get me wrong. But, you know, this is clearly uh, a truthful statement, Steph. He has been through a lot, and this is not helping him. All the recent headlines about the couple's secret separation, they want, uh, they wish some of their family's private matters remained private the insider claimed, alleging that Will has been uh, trying to stay busy while hanging out with his good friends and his kids. The source added, he's trying not to let any outside noise impact him. Will loves Jada and feels like uh, he has always had her back and always will. He has been trying to be uh, supportive while also taking care of himself. Look, this is the most fair comment I could think of that if somebody wanted to report against Jada within the family, that's what they would say. You know what I mean? Because, uh, yeah, who doesn't want their family's private life to stay private? Seems like the only one who doesn't want that is Jada. Everybody else is sort of forced into the Jada whirlwind and put it all out there. And the fact that Jada had to write this book and beyond even just the book, if she'd written the book, it's one thing, but these interviews she's done, these sound bites she's given early on that she knew, she knew would be the catalyst for getting clicks and headlines and, and attention before the book's release, because that's the goal. But it's very, you know, Prince Harry, Megan, in my opinion, because it's all salacious drama that they need to, she needs to resort to, right, to get any sort of attention. And I just... Even Prince Harry, I think, has more pedigree and interest, given his history and Princess Diana, et cetera, than Jada Pinkett Smith, right? And that's the thing. Jada thinks so highly of herself that everyone's going to want this book, yet she resorts to this lowest common denominator of gossip and privateness of her own damn kids and, and husband and throwing them under the bus further when he's trying to rebuild his career after sticking up for her stuff. It just reads so grossly. So I, I've been hard on Jaden a little bit. I think Willow seems a little bit more rounded. Jaden just seems a little out there. But now it makes sense why. And I do feel for these kids. Trey, Will's son from his other marriage, seems to really have a good head on his shoulders and always is out there sort of supporting the family and try to be there and Will make sure he's part of everything. I appreciate that of Will, right? It's a nice family. The kids are there. I, 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 I feel bad for these kids because – Jada's put them on this red table so many damn times sharing stuff that should have never been out there about their own lives. Uh, Willow and her friends like came in to talk about their SC, you know, ex life with, with her, her mom and grandmother. Like that's friggin' weird stuff. Some stuff should remain private. And I believe this, this, that the kids are probably at this point while supporting the family are like, mom, can you stand enough? Why do you keep having to put this out there? Put that? Do you think, I guess, do you think that's an actual red table talk they do in private stuff where the kids are like, again, mom, do you really got to put this out there? Like, can we leave, let dad recoup? Do you think there maybe is some stuff behind the scenes where she's hearing that and she shrugs it off? It's just like, no big deal. What are your thoughts? No, because they can't monetize it. <laughs> well, the kids aren't monetizing it. The kids are just getting money from the parents. Like Jada monetizes it. But do you think the kids are there trying to monetize it too? Well, there was that video that was released, I believe, on Instagram a couple of weeks back 
um, uh, just before the launch of this book where they were congratulating Jada, their mum, and saying, oh, we're proud of you in terms of what you've put in this book, this, that, and the other, and Will Smith was there as well. So they presented this whole United Family front before the book came out that, you know, they were standing behind Jada and they knew full well what was going to be in this book, this, that, and the other. But behind the scenes, behind the scenes... Let's put it this way. If I had a mum like Jada and she put this kind of shiz in her book and I've read it halfway through at the moment, I'd be having words. I'd be like, uh, mum, what the freaking do? So you're writing in your damn book for? Like, it's insane what she's putting in. And the matter of the fact is this. When she's writing about Tupac and guys, she writes about him pretty extensively. She's writing about him much more fondly and much more warmly than Will Smith. It is evident. It is stark. It is actually quite scary because the way I see it is Will Smith and I would say her children to a certain extent are in competition with a ghost, with a dead man because jada seems to be in terms of a book much more interested and much more warm and affectionate towards tupac than anyone else in the book it's insane so just knowing that and reading that alone if i was one of her kids i'd be turning up to and be like excuse me what the deuce why are you talking about tupac like this for you say you're just friends but this is something more and you're more affectionate to him than you are towards this, that, and the other. She freaking, in the beginning of the book, Andy, the beginning of the <laughs> book, she turns round and she says that two of Jaden's underage friends introduced her to the Aya stuff. Yeah. Yeah, she's been lying about a lot of stuff. And all this makes it seem like the kids would, in fact, be like, enough, mom, this is too much. Like that video you talked about for like a hostage video when they she's un undoing the book and everyone's giving her the, yeah. uh, oh, you're worthy, you're worthy. It just felt like they all had to. Like it was like a Kardashian moment of just pre-staged, oh, you guys, I'm sure she'd seen the book already. I'm going to undo, we're going to all pretend like we're seeing it for the first time. Everyone applaud me. Like it felt directed like that. And Jane has been caught doing that on Instagram posts and stuff with Will. And so it's all, it's all crazy. Now this pivoting, um, she's now claiming that the slap, what, which she said, I was shocked he even called me his wife because we weren't together and blah, 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 blah. And I couldn't believe he did it. Are you okay? Like she was not being supportive in her first initial reactions to slap, right, Steph? And now, and now it helped her recommit to her marriage to Will after the six year separation. I'm leaving here as your wife. Now, suddenly, as she's retelling the story over and over again and people are getting bored, she's slowly trying to make it like she's a supportive wife who's not going to leave. And this feels like damage control to me, which, again, maybe is coming from the kids and everybody else. Like, are you going to talk positively about dad at all? Or are you just going to keep talking about you not being together and him not being Tupac and all this stuff yeah. that she keeps doing and masculine him with? And I, when I saw this headline, because I see there she's just nonstop with the drip, drip, drip press of this book, um, this felt like total damage control. Like, I don't believe this for a second because if this was true, you would have told Coda and everybody else when you first talked about it, this would have been the first thing you said. But notice how she didn't say that in the first interviews. She saved it and now is sprinkling it in some news cycles. Oh my God, this woman is so calculated and awful. I was like, I'm riding with you. I, don't, I didn't come in this place as your wife, but I'm leaving here as your wife because we got a storm we're going to have to deal with together i am not going to leave your side how do you not put that quote on day one steph day one of your pr team no she pointedly avoided this kind of support of will in the beginning to get us all talking and get everyone upset and throw will under the bus to sell more books and now it's not working and now she's changing it. I decided I was now. It's like, do you see through this too? Does this look like a completely calculated PR play and not actually her caring about Will Smith? I totally see through it because the first thing that she, as far as I'm concerned, was very at pains and rushed to uh, get out was that they'd separated for the last seven years. 
And that she was surprised that Will Smith referred to her as his wife at that Oscars moment. She didn't then say afterwards, but you know what? Even though I was surprised that he referred to me as his wife and we had been separated for seven years, do you know what? I was like, I'm going to put that aside because I still care for you and um, it looks like we're going to have a storm to deal with because she's the freaking bed. You just assaulted Chris Rock in front of live, uh, in, in, on live TV in front of millions of people. This is going to go all over. So I'm going to deal with it together for you. I've got your back. I'm not going to leave your side. She could have said that in the same breath, but she, if she didn't. Meant it. Exactly. But she didn't. She did. You know what? She, you know what? I feel like this was Steph. This was like, she started seeing the press come in and what she was doing. And she realized I need to have a couple articles out there that I can show Will when he yells at me that I'm only talking smack. I can be like, no, see, see, look at this one. I said I was going to be by your side and you no know, scroll up. It, it shows like, the shares on this one are far less. People don't care anymore about the story about her, but she's out there attempting to put a good proper headline, but only look at that 48 shares. This is not a very shared story. Uh, I'm going to be leaving here as your wife. This is a complete narrative shift because I do believe the kids probably have told her enough, mom, like Will's go dad's going through enough. We're trying to rebuild. It's their brand too. You know what I mean? Mm. These kids have as much to lose with Jada talking this nonsense and putting this all out there. It does Jada revealing that the ayahuasca and stuff coming from the, the kids, like that's not good. That's not good. Literally right your kids at the are doing of the that. Book. It's insane. Yeah, why would you want to put your kids' usage out in the world like that? You should be ashamed they're doing it, period, not promoting it. Oh, there's so much glorification of terrible behavior and illegal behavior by Jada as if it's just the norm. It, it blows my mind. And yes, we will keep reporting on it. Sorry, guys, because it's like a train wreck. You can't turn away from, right, Steph? Thought, final thought? Um, I'm looking forward to the second half of the book. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be more will-driven, I'm sure, as because it sounds like it's chronological. Yes. Once we get into the that part, I'm very curious to see how she plays the relationship with Will. And yes, if you want to hear our breakdowns, Steph's breakdown of how... How how emasculated is Will going to be in the rest of this book? Stay tuned. we got lots more coming. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. And what do you think? Do you believe the kids are now feeling bad for their dad and trying to tell mom t to tone it down? I want to hear your thoughts down below. Make sure you subscribe to Steph the Alter Nerd as well as here on Popcorn Planet. Our energy, our tech's coming back. Thank you for bearing with us. We will try to be live later today. Probably a shorter live, but we'll be live. So make sure you hit the bell for notifications so you know when we're live. We'll be there talking about Jada. Britney's new book. She did her first interview. Oprah for president. Lots of news you're not going to miss. Gets it all here on Popcorn Planet. Thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you, Steph. Clickety-click all the videos. Clickety-click.